Hey, how's it going? My name is Dr. Malsberg. I'm a psychiatrist and editor-in-chief of multimedia at Carlat. Today we're talking about Ovelity. Ovelity is a newer antidepressant that combines bupropion and dextromethorphan. We know bupropion from Wellbutrin and dextromethorphan a little bit less well in psychiatry, but it's a cough suppressant found in Robitussin DM. The name itself, Ovelity, suggests augment with velocity. And that's the bold claim for this antidepressant. Augment because we're augmenting the bupropion and velocity because it's got a quicker therapeutic onset of action than bupropion alone. So what is the mechanism of action? So dextromethorphan increases glutamate transmission through NMDA antagonism. We see glutaminergic mechanisms in several third line treatments for treatment resistant depression. Here we're thinking about amantadine, decycloserine, and ketamine. It's also believed to have anticonvulsant and neuroprotective effects, and also blocks serotonin and dopamine reuptake. Notably, it's the first oral antidepressant that includes this mechanism, and that goes beyond the traditional monoamines. Here we're thinking serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine. What's interesting about this pairing is it accomplishes a pharmacokinetic goal of increasing the dextromethorphan's half-life. That's because bupropion blocks CYP2D6, which is how dextromethorphan is metabolized. So it extends dextromethorphan's half-life from 4 to 22 hours. What have we seen so far in clinical trials? So clinical trials have shown greater speed and efficacy of this combination versus bupropion alone. One trial was large, over 300 patients, and one was smaller. The large trial showed that it was effective in depression. This shouldn't be too surprising since it contains a therapeutic dose of bupropion, which we know works. But what stands out was the speed of onset. So it's separated from placebo in the first week, compared to weeks two to four for other antidepressants. The small trial confirmed the speed of onset data and was more effective than bupropion alone. It had a 47% remission rate versus 16% for bupropion after six weeks. However, it's unclear if it works in treatment-resistant depression cases. The manufacturer conducted a large trial in treatment-resistant depression with negative results, but the details are still unpublished. What are the side effects of this combo? Well, we know dextromethorphan has sedative properties that led to higher rates of side effects. One in 16 patients stopped due to side effects, the most common being somnolence, nausea, dizziness, headache, and dry mouth. It's worth pointing out some of the controversy of this medication. So we know there's a potential for misuse with dextromethorphan. People have abused the syrup and it's called robo-tripping. Now, there wasn't evidence of inappropriate use in the trials, their dextromethorphan was dosed below the abusable levels. However, the interaction with bupropion is likely to push dextromethorphan into abusable ranges. Because we know bupropion raises peak levels of dextromethorphan about 40-fold. Now we know Avelity has a steep out-of-pocket cost, something like $1,200 a month. But it's worth pointing out that it's possible to use generic workarounds to make the drug more affordable. It's important to point out that these generic workarounds are possible, but not FDA approved. I guess technically it's not over the counter, but behind the counter as a way to limit diversion and misuse. So the liquid can be given in the same 45 milligrams BID dose as used in Ovelity. And bupropion is available generically in doses very close to Ovelity's 105 milligrams BID. So it's possible to prescribe the same separate ingredients under the generic drugs. It's important to point out that there are a lot of questions left unanswered about this combo. Can bupropion be started as monotherapy and then dextromethorphan added if there's no response? Will raising the dose of bupropion or dextromethorphan help if the patient doesn't recover? Can dextromethorphan be safely tapered off after a sustained recovery? We don't really know the answers to these questions yet. So what's the Carlet verdict on this combo? Avelity gets a thumbs up for speed and efficacy, but it misses the mark in treatment-resistant depression. Generic substitution gets a green light. I recommend you check out our fact sheet on Avelity. To get free access, just go to the carlatreport.com slash allvelity, and we'll email you a free helpful fact sheet. If you found this video helpful, definitely head on over to the carlatreport.com and definitely consider subscribing to the Carlat Psychiatry Report, where we give you unbiased news about all things psychiatric with useful clinical updates, expert interviews, and bottom line assessments of the latest research studies. And our subscriptions come with access to post tests where you can earn CMEs.